TripAdvisor analyzed more than 1 billion reviews from travelers over the past 12 months to determine the best things to do around the world. On this list of top experiences is a Dubai Dune Safari and a tour of the North Shore of Hawaii. These experiences seem fun, but they don't even come close to the winner of every experience in the world. The winner of the TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice, a boat ride in Amsterdam. This truly is the best experience, yeah. All right, so honestly, cruising around the canals in Amsterdam with a boat is really great. And by chance, me and my girlfriend became the owners of a boat this year, so I can tell you what it's like to be an owner of the best experience in the world. Let me tell you what it's like to own a boat in Amsterdam. Woo! Many locals own a boat, and during the summer, almost every boat owner gets on the water to enjoy their car. What? There are many different types of boats in Amsterdam. There are luxurious boats, party boats, fast boats, pancake boats, smoke boats, bicycle boats, cat boats, tour boats. Try to avoid the, watch out for these. They are very ignorant, very large, very annoying. Um, we've also got houseboats and also many shipwrecks. So a lot of boats, but how do you get one? How to get a boat in Amsterdam? There's a couple of steps to owning a boat in Amsterdam. The first one is buying a boat. Then an additional step is getting a motor. You gotta power that thing. Second step is gonna be getting a vignette to park your boat. Parking is actually called mooring, but sounds weird, so I'm sticking with parking. And then the last step is claiming a spot to park your boat. Step one, buying a boat. In Amsterdam, a lot of boats are bought and sold through Marktplatz. Marktplatz is basically the Dutch version of eBay and many secondhand boats can be found there. Obviously, you can also buy a new one at a store, but that's very expensive. When I searched on Marktplatz for a boat, I immediately found a gem. However, when I made an appointment to view the boat, I soon realized a big boat means it's a lot of mass, uh, needs a lot of power to maneuver, that means a powerful motor and that means it's gonna be a lot of money. I also found another equation, big boat equals expensive parking costs. Ultimately, this realization led me to a completely different type of boat, a tiny shipwreck. It had been underwater for years and it looked quite sad, but I thought it had a lot of potential. The owner of this boat found this piece of aluminium when it had floated against his house one day, his houseboat that is, um, and he was very happy if I was going to fix the boat and float away with it again. The motor. Usually when you buy a boat, it will come with a motor. It is very important though to pay attention to the motor of your boat because it determines how much you will pay for parking your boat in Amsterdam every single year. Now let me explain that. Getting a vignette to park your boat. If you want to park your boat in Amsterdam, you have to pay tax and apply for a vignette. It's basically a kind of permit to have a boat in Amsterdam and the amount of money you pay each year is determined by the size of your boat and the type of motor you have. In terms of size, the bigger your boat, the more you will pay, but the type of motor will either be petrol or diesel or an electric one, electric motor. And this is important because boats with an electric motor get a 70% discount each year. So in the long term, it makes a big difference. Also in 2025, the municipality of Amsterdam wants to ban all petrol and diesel engines. So depending on how strictly they will reinforce this, you will have to get an electric motor later on anyway. Vignette. Once you pay the tax, a vignette is sent by mail by the municipality and you'll have to stick it to your boat. The red one is for petrol or diesel engines and the green one is for electric motors. Now you're allowed to park your boat in Amsterdam, but where do you park? Are there any spots left? Well, this leads us to the last step, claiming a spot to park your boat. You can park your boat almost anywhere in Amsterdam, theoretically speaking. A part of Amsterdam boat culture is that boat owners claim their own boat parking spots. Officially this is illegal, but it's some it's kind of an unwritten rule. 
and the police doesn't really reinforce anything about this so you can see claimed spots all over the canals. The Amsterdam based newspaper Parole, they published an article about this phenomenon, they compared it to claiming a public parking spot and they concluded that it's very antisocial. Personally I respect the cheeky Amsterdam boat culture and if you own a boat you'll understand how horrible it would be if you have to look for a spot each time you come back with your boat because unlike car parking spots there aren't that many. Powering our boat. So with all this information in mind we decided to get an electric motor. We like the idea of not polluting the canals and in addition to the parking costs it also saves a tiny bit of money on gas each month. If you decide to get an electric motor, there are still a ton of different options you can choose from. I could create an entire video about this too, but it boils down to a couple of things. Mainly, price, capacity slash range of the battery, longevity of the battery, the power and the weight. I spent a lot of time researching electric motors before we made a decision. We found a second hand e-propulsion motor for 1700 euros on Marktplatz. This was a good deal since it included two batteries and a single new battery alone already cost 1100 euros. I was able to bargain and ultimately I got it for 1500 euros. We now had a motor to power the boat but the boat itself needed to be restored before we could use it. This was quite an experience since it had been underwater for years a lot of cleaning had to be done and dirt just kept it just kept coming out forever um, the former owner of the boat andrew he was kind enough to let us borrow a lot of his tools which really helped us a lot i don't think we could have done it without him um, the aluminium material is quite thin and flexible the boat also contained a small dent so my dad came up with the idea to create a wooden edge. This was a lot more difficult than we initially thought and took us an entire weekend, but we ultimately managed to do it. And finally, it was time for the very first test drive. Nou, het rijst in ieder geval wel. Go. Okay. Okay, it works. <laughs> Geweldig. Quick boat review. After a couple of boat rides, I can confidently say it was worth the effort. The motor is powerful enough to get the boat to a speed of 8 kilometers an hour. Bear in mind you can only go up to 6 on the Amsterdam canals. Um, at a moderate speed, the capacity of the batteries is enough to cruise through the canals all day. And because of the small size, the boat is easy to maneuver. The only downside of the boat is that it's a little unstable. You do get a great experience of being on the water though. Um, and this is also a quick tip I want to give. If you're considering a boat tour, do not go on to those big touring boats. Take a somewhat smaller boat that's at least partly open. If you go on to the bigger touring boats, you don't even feel that you're on the water and the experience it's more like a bus. The exact experience TripAdvisor is referring to is an open boat canal cruise, not a gigantic tour boat. Oh, that's the volgende three al. So I started this video with the statement of TripAdvisor that the Amsterdam Kennel Cruise experience is the best experience in the world. Do I agree? Well, cruising around the canals in Amsterdam is definitely amazing. Even if you lived here your entire life, you still experience the city in a completely new way when you view it from the water. There's just something about slowly moving through the water while taking your time to look around at the iconic bridges and houses. Even for a local, there's parts of Amsterdam that I've never seen in such a way or actually been at. This summer has been extremely good and we've taken the boat at least twice a week, sometimes even four or five times a week. So I definitely say it's one of my favorite activities. However, is it the best experience in the world? Well, let me book a trip to Dubai, Hawaii and Aruba and I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching this video. It almost took me three weeks to create. I hate to admit it, but I'm hoping that it will get picked up by the algorithm and you can help me increase my chances that it will by commenting, sharing and liking the video. I know everyone says it, but it truly helps. If you wanna see some more behind the scenes of this video, the creative process, the strategy, um, some more information about boats in Amsterdam, 
You can check out my Patreon. It's in the link in the description. Hope you like this video. Thanks. Until next time.